you can see that triangle there, but how do you prove it exists? Um, and actually, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a difficult thing to prove exists. You can touch it, but, but, but senses can be deceived. Um, live moment to moment, which isn't always easy because as humans, we, 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 I think we spend much more time in the past than in the future. Um, most people that are really busy, they spend the whole day thinking about where they need to be next. So they're almost living in a reality which hasn't even yet come to existence. And in, in the meantime, because their focus of attention is into the future, they're missing everything that happens in the present. Um, and likewise, I think that the, the many, many people spend a lot of time reflecting into the past, thinking about what's happened last week, last year, 10 years ago. And they spend so much time absorbed in this memory of the past, once again, they miss what's happening in the present moment. Uh, it's not easy to do. I don't think it's not something that, you know, you can kind of click your fingers and then you suddenly change this perception. But actually, when you start to live in the moment, it does completely change the way you perceive reality. You can appreciate things. You can appreciate colours. You can appreciate sounds. For example, a lot of people I coach, um, uh, you re might really enjoy coffee. Uh, and one of the things I say to them, well, when was the last time you made coffee? and spent the whole process of making, preparing, drinking the coffee, just absorbed in that moment, paying attention to the sound that the kettle makes, the smell of the coffee as you make it, um, how long it takes for the coffee to settle, all of the things that kind of go on. But what happens is, for many of us, and me included a lot of the time, and not as much as perhaps previously, you miss all of that. You miss all of that because you just want to get your coffee made and then you drink your coffee and then get on with the day. Um, so I think reality is the present moment and the only thing that exists is the present moment. You, there's not one person on this earth that can go and touch something from the past. You can't, you can't, you can remember it in your mind, but you can't actually go there. You can't actually touch something. And once again, the future hasn't yet happened. So all we've got is a succession of moments which we call present the experience that we have moment to moment to moment to moment throughout our whole life um, I think in its most destructive form people that are really suffer with depression are constantly thinking about the past and in its most destructive form form sorry people that are really worried about what's going to happen in the future then suffer anxiety um, but actually in the present moment all there is is experience, which is your reality.